I believe it was, and there was a user there uh, that mentioned using uh, an X-Acto knife to remove uh, a cut out of plywood because of stubborn glue, and then someone mentioned, why don't you use the print and cut feature to save that and just recut it? Um, and I've seen this done before. I had never actually done it myself. However, uh, it's pretty easy to figure out. And uh, there's a couple of little things about it that are not quite super intuitive. Um, but uh, hopefully this video makes it clear. Sorry, I just got a little something in my eye there. Um, at any rate, what we're going to do is I've got a little uh, graphic up here. For a sign, I'm going to uh, pretend to uh, cut it out and have it fail, meaning uh, it's going to do the entire cut, but it's not going to cut through. And I'm just doing it on paper because it's cheap, <laughs> uh, and we don't need to waste plywood for a simple test. Let me show you on Lightburn here. Uh, here is our design. It's welcome to our home Christmas type sign. Um, these are you, you'd cut these out of plywood or MDF paint them and stick them on around and make a nice uh, farmhouse type sign with it uh, so what I've got set up right now is this is set to a line um, as part of that line I have it set at 900 millimeters a second at nine and a half percent power and I'll probably defocus the laser just a little bit. This is paper after all. I just don't want it going through the paper. But I do want to see a mark on the paper. Um, because we're going to need that mark to line this up. Let me zoom in here to this corner. You'll see this circle here. Uh, that is set to a tool path layer. Uh, tool layer. So it, it is not going to do anything you can ignore it for right now there's two of them though there's one there and there's one all the way over here okay and these are what's going to allow us to line this up later we don't even need to have them as part of the graphic right now uh, makes no difference however um, in fact I'll go ahead and take them out of it completely so they're not part of what we send to the laser um, so I have this set up job origin up in the upper left hand corner. Let's go ahead and send this as print cut. Overwrite the file that I have there from where I was testing this out. Um, and let's go ahead and go over to the laser and run this, uh, this burn real quick. All right. Over here, I'm going to bring that uh, file up. There it is, print cut. Okay. See, we've got it right there. That's where the laser is. Um, and I said I'm going to defocus this, so let's do that real quick. Set you up here. So, right now we're focused. I'd like to bring it down just a hair more, right about there. Um, shoot. Magnets, so much fun. <laughs> they jump out of your hand and onto other things. Uh, Alright, so we've got that set up now. Uh, let's go ahead and frame it. Not a, not a big sign here. Let's go to you guys closer. Let's see.
and you were excited about it, you picked it up and, oh man, it's still connected, but I, I moved it. I've now moved that paper. What do I do? In fact, I'm going to move it extremely. Uh, just give it a, a good turn. All right. Now, what we're going to do, first of all, figure out why that's in this. Hang on a second. <laughs> Interesting. Must have come loose. I must not have tightened that thumb screw up enough and it actually came loose while it was going. Doesn't matter. That's a perfect example of what could happen, right? Alright, so I'm going to lower my speed down. Well, let me get close here. So let me get you guys up close too so you can kind of see uh, what I'm going to do here. Alright, you see the end of that W, right? Right there. Let me lower the speed down now. want to bring it in until it's sitting right in that cut. Right about there on the wood side. Okay, now we're going to go back over to light burn real quick. So back over here on light burn, let's bring this back in. All right, let's zoom in here. We're going to select this. We're going to go to tools, print and cut, and we're going to start the wizard. Okay, we're going to tell it now. What we've done is we've moved the laser into this exact position, and we're going to tell the laser this is where it is right now. That is the first position that you need to worry about. Okay. Now we have to set the second position. So we're going to come way down here to the E and we're going to select that. Now, before we do anything else, we need to go back over to the laser and move that head. So, I'm going to move you guys back because now we're going to focus in on the bottom of this E down here. Speed up because moving at one millimeter a second is great for precision, not so great for moving across the board here. All right, I'll bring that speed back down. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to leave that there. So let's go back over to light burn. All right, now that we're back in light burn and we know where that laser pointer is on the design, we can set the second target position. All right. Now, what we want to do is we want to tell this to align those scaled just in case the skewing or something changed the size or whatever. It, I'm not sure if no scaling would make a difference in this instance. Probably not, but we're going to say scaled, okay? Uh, you'll see that each one of those circles now have turned green, telling us we're ready to go. So select our artwork, resend it to the laser, overwrite that file. And here's where the magic happens. Oh, let me switch it back to the, the, can, the cell phone. Okay. So now we've got that in place. Let's put a couple of magnets down just to make sure we don't move anything around. Now we bring that file up over here. Bring it, re bring it up, and you'll see it's skewed. Well, that's interesting. It looks skewed backwards. Does it? No, no, it doesn't because face that way. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so not 
going to frame it. I could. I'm not going to. I'm going to instead put you guys here. We'll recut the. Oh, let's refocus. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, one second. Let's give it just a bit more juice and light burn here uh, before we do that. So let's give it 12% power. Ought to cut through that paper, no problem. We'll resend it one more time, overwrite it. Bring that file up and check our settings. Oh, yeah, switch you back over to the laser view. Bring that file up. Check our settings, 12% power. And let's run it. Okay. 